Hey everyone, how's it going today? And welcome back to another third stimulus check unemployment benefits extension update. So as you guys probably already know is, is that it's never easy to say, but the idea is that, as you guys can probably see in the title, is that there are now officially 21 states that have announced that they will be ending their unemployment benefits extension program earlier than we had anticipated. I know that each day it's you know going to be hard to news, or so far it's been hard, hard news to really be able to take in, but I just think it's important to share what's been going on, especially even more true now that we are actually approaching almost the 25 state halfway point. Now, I do really want to maybe just really specify is, is that so far right now, almost every single state has been a red state. But I do also really want to make clear is, is that if you happen to be in a swing or a blue state, the great news is, is that you should much better be much, much more likely to be safe. However, I do always say, as, as I kind of specifies, is that I think it's important to be on guard, especially in a lot of swing states, because it looks like at this time is, is that after running through a lot of the red states is, is that they may be trying to come for the swing states next. There are also certain loopholes or just simply put things that they have been trying to do to maybe even try to influence a lot of the blue states. I think the great news is that most blue states should feel relatively secure. But again, because there are like ways to kind of get around with um what's been going on. So for example, one of the things is, is that they are trying to work on a bill and technically kind of already did, but they're trying to continue to work on a bill to maybe even try to reverse the stimulus and the entire unemployment program in its entirety. This is just one example of several tricks that they can potentially do. Now, specifically those 21 states, to just start off on the bat, um, those 21 states are going to be Montana, South Carolina, Arkansas, Alabama, Mississippi, Missouri, North Dakota. Um, I know Iowa and Tennessee came right after, and then I believe Idaho and Wyoming, and then somewhat afterwards was Arizona, Ohio, Georgia, South Dakota, Utah, somewhat, I think around the end of last week was West Virginia and Alaska, and now within the last 24 to 48 hours, essentially, if you are watching this on release date yesterday, but, you know, basically early of this week, um, Texas, Indiana, and Oklahoma are the three recent states that joined in. So I believe in our last update, it was 18. Now we have another three extra that are joining in. So now we have Texas, Indiana, and Oklahoma added to that other list of the 21 states that we recently just mentioned. But in today's update, what I really just wanna talk about is really just about where each of these brand new states stand, what is probably going to be the more likely state next, because we do have certain news from some other states that might might be announcing their own information soon. And maybe I just wanna maybe just end this talking a little bit about what Biden believes about this and the possibility for all of this to change. So maybe there's something in this video to kind of offer a little bit of everyone and to again, keep up with the update to hope as many of us are able to stay on the program as much as possible. So we're gonna get started, but as always, before we begin, make sure you smash the like button because it always does help to share support consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification button, especially because we are getting a lot of news that's moving super, super fast each day. So you guys can get notified if you guys are interested. And as always, feel free to comment any questions, thoughts about honestly just really anything, especially because I think there are probably going to be a lot of personal thoughts. And also interestingly, if you have any particular information, especially from your particular state, feel free to share them below because as we know is that because information is moving super fast, um, the people that will probably know the most are probably always going to be the people that are physically living in the state firsthand. And I think it's always, not this, I don't wanna say great, but certainly informative to, to be able to know what's, what's going on around the country right now. So with that being said, let's just get this video started. So now the three new recent states that we recently did get information about, which is specifically Texas, Oklahoma, and Indiana, which just announced their information within the last 24 to 48 hours, if you are watching this in release date, is that I believe for Indiana, they announced that they're going to be ending it now on June 19th. So basically around the end of the third week of uh, June. And then Texas and Oklahoma, they're going to be ending it. At least that's what their target date right now. Um, basically the week right after 
after on June 26th. So essentially from when I'm making this, there's pretty much exactly one month from when Indiana's looking to end and then about one month and a week from when Texas is looking to end. Now, if you are looking for information about any of the other states, I did make a video yesterday, which I'll put at the very, very end screen as well. I believe it says it's specifically called exact dates or essentially like when every state is going to end. So in other words, the other 18 states that currently have announced. But in today's update, as you guys can see, is probably you can consider as a part two, um, is basically about the other new three states that have now announced their dates. Now, as of this time, I believe Kansas and Michigan have not announced what they plan to do, but they have actually announced that they're likely going to be sharing their plans now sometime in the near future, and that there's now a push in those two states, specifically, again, Kansas and Michigan, that they may be trying. It's not confirmed yet. It's unannounced. It hasn't been fully confirmed. However, it's believed by many people that Kansas and Michigan um, is likely going to be next. At least certainly, it's definitely on the table. There's definitely a push now to try to end it earlier in those two specific states. Now, the belief right now is that now that we are hitting the ha almost the halfway point because, you know, 21 out of 50 states, we're only four states away from the halfway point. Um, it is believed right now that even though most of the states, of course, have been red states, there is a push and belief that they may now be starting to move on to try to influence a lot of swing states too. I know, for example, Georgia, you know, which was a state that recently swung blue, you know, certainly in the senator, um, in the Senate elections and also in the presidential elections. Elections finally flipped blue, they still also in the end um, had to end their program early. Now, obviously, because they're a swing, you know, somewhat of a swing state, that's probably part of the reason. But the idea is, is that whatever state, and again, trying to leave politics outside of this, especially because keep in mind, we are still a finance channel at the end of the day, and we have people from both parties that come by. So huge love to, you know, because we are all Americans at the end of the day, living in the same country with the same government and the same policies. But the general idea is that the more influence and power that state has um, in being a red state, or the, the more amount of red that is in that state, um, the even more likely you will probably be impacted and that's kind of why even Georgia was now recently impacted huge love because I know they were probably the most important state that finally allowed the third stimulus package to get approved and passed certainly much much easier than everything with the second stimulus if you guys have been around here for a while thank you guys so much for staying through if you guys are brand new here consider subscribing so you guys can always join in for more updates about that now, in terms of its ability to change, at this current time, I believe the story is that President Joe Biden hasn't actually really spoken much about his belief or what he personally thinks about the situation. The only thing that Biden has really mentioned um, is that he's potentially looking to increase the requirements to stay on to the unemployment program. So in an indirect way, it might start to you know, cause people to have delays to stay on the unemployment. But in terms of having just specific states ended in its entirety, I believe that right now Biden hasn't really spoken too much about it. So I think that we are also waiting for information about what Biden finally speaks, because there is actually a lot of push from both parties, actually, um, to try to continue and slash to end the unemployment program. Uh, but just Biden just hasn't really fully responded. So we'll really probably have to wait to, to see what he finally says. Maybe once again, consider subscribing if you guys haven't done so already so you guys can find out information about that but beyond that that's pretty much what I really just wanted to share in today's update hopefully you guys found that insightful maybe consider smashing the like button in support if you guys did um, even though I know it's hard but that's why you guys can decide you know if you guys want to and as always feel free to comment any questions thoughts subscribe about any possible information um, personal thoughts or opinions about honestly just really anything at all especially if you guys find out anything important to share as well so we can hopefully share it in one of the next updates so with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well, and I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much again.